A Fox News alert is a senior intelligence official is now telling our John Roberts at the White House moments ago, quote, what we've seen so far is not inconsistent with North Korea's claim. So not exactly confirmation, but perhaps tacit affirmation that the White House is taking the North Korean claims very seriously, as Lucas Tomlinson already pointed out, sniffer planes en route from Japan to go fly by North Korean airspace and see if they can pick up any radioactive protocols that and particles that might give them a better idea about this nuclear bomb. With that, we bring in Mark Levine, Virginia Talk Radio host, and Ted Harvey, chairman of the committee to support our president joining us from Denver. Gentlemen, appreciate you being here. Uh, Ted, first to you. The president earlier said, we'll see about attacking North Korea. In your mind, should we be going there yet? Well, certainly, I think we should be looking at every diplomatic arena that we possibly can. We should be putting as much pressure on China as we possibly can. They are North Korea's biggest ally and biggest trading partner. And China needs to step up to uh, bring down the tensions in that area, but I don't think the United States can ever allow one of our enemies to be put in a position where they can threaten not only our allies in the region, but also our mainland. And we're getting pretty close to a situation where the Trump, the Trump administration is in a lose-lose situation mm. no matter what he does. All right, Mark, uh, so far, do you uh, disagree with anything? Well, I think this North Korea is a really really tough issue and I think we need a president who learns to do what Theodore Roosevelt told us to do which is speak softly and carry a big stick rather than speak loudly and carry a very small one. The key to this of course is China. And I'd like to see if Ted and I can get some agreement here today. The best way to put pressure on China to put pressure on North Korea is economically. Now the president talked tough before he ran for office on trade sanctions and other things against China, there has to be both carrot and stick. It requires careful negotiation. They have to sit down in a room with China. And, you know, Anthony Scaramucci, for example, has a company that he's trying to sell to China. China cares, cares very, very much about its economic dealings with the United States. And by using our pressure against China, we can use pressure against North Korea. All right. Well, to that point, Ted, we've heard sort of different things from the president. Back in July, he tweeted that he was very disappointed in the Chinese. Today, he's tweeting that the Chinese are... Uh, you know, have worked hard on North Korea but haven't gotten anywhere. Is there a consistency that's missing here? And at the same time, you've got a president who wants to possibly put trade sanctions uh, and tariffs on Chinese goods. You can't have them help North Korea and at the same time put tariffs on their stuff coming into the U.S. Well, sure you can, but you know the last thing China wants to have is uh, a war going on right on their border. And what we've seen over the last 25 years is failed diplomacy. You've seen Bill Clinton give them nuclear technology. You've seen whoa, George Bush whoa, give them whoa, nuclear whoa, technology. Whoa, 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 whoa! I can't let that and go. And that's crazy talk. The, you, you've seen uh, Obama um, send Mark, Dennis Rodman that's, that's not, over Mark, there that's as not, his Mark, ambassador. That's not, Mark, that's we not have crazy. Left Oh, hold on, Ted. I mean, we have left this administration in a lose-lose situation. Bill Clinton carefully negotiated and kept North Korea from getting nuclear weapons for eight years. Bill Clinton actually negotiated cameras Mark, in Mark, North Korea, Mark, the, and the, the deal they were moved under George W. Bush. Mark, the deal that, that Bill Clinton made turned out to be an epic disaster. No, the, the Korean, deal no, was good. No, the North Koreans ended up getting nuclear weapons. When it, did it, they get it? They got it under George W. Bush. I remember, I was working in Congress at the time, and they said, we're going to throw out the cameras, and George W. Bush was concentrating on Afghanistan, on Iraq, oh, and on. he couldn't ha take the time to deal with North Korea. But under Bill Clinton, under careful mm. negotiation, we were able to keep North Korea from getting nuclear weapons. We uh. need that careful negotiation right now. Okay, careful negotiation. All right, so, Ted, uh, Evidently, the president, and he has said that he is the great negotiator. Where, where does the rubber meet the road? At what point uh, does the president have to have some deliverables here? Well, I think that putting pressure on China is going to have to be one of the number one deliverables, but he has had deliverables. He has got the entire UN to support sanctions, including China, including Russia, who are um, allies of North Korea, and to get them to come together on the Security Council and support um, rep, uh, sanctions against North Korea is a positive for this administration, and we need to continue to put that kind of pressure on Russia and China to continue to put uh, pressure on right. North Korea, because if we don't, 
it's going to be a, a serious situation. We have to remember that the last meeting that mm -hmm. Obama had with incoming President Trump yeah. was to say we have to go in a different direction than the way we are being, we've been handling North Korea thus far. And that is what Trump is being forced to do. Well, and, and noteworthy in that meeting, he also said that North Korea was the single greatest national security threat the incoming president would uh, face. Uh, right. Ted, appreciate you being here. Mark, uh, we're going to finish this debate uh, later on about whether uh, President Clinton uh, allowed, the, allowed the North Koreans to get nuclear weapons. George Bush did, and it okay. was really terrible. Right. I remember. Well, I, we got they your talking did. point. Yeah, all right. <laughs> they Ted, Ted, may be, Ted may be on to something there. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks, Lulu. All right. Liz?